chest. But it was not until Friday after reports surfaced that Michael Jordan's father was missing that investigators established the tragic link. James Jordan's abandoned car had been vandalized. Police have since arrested several people for stealing parts of the vehicle, but they are not considered suspects in the murder. Instead, finances are now the focus of the homicide and kidnapping investigation. According to published reports, the FBI is looking into debts James Jordan owed to a company he owned in South Carolina. He had reportedly run into tax trouble while running JVL Enterprises, a business that makes t-shirts, shorts, and socks. Michael Jordan issued a statement describing his family as tight-knit, his father's death as shocking. It went on to say there would be no comment regarding the murder while the investigation is underway. Those who know the family well say the father was his superstar son's biggest fan, often traveling with him on the road with the three-time NBA champion Chicago Bulls. He was always there, and, you know, he was always... It was like Michael was the apple of his eye. When Michael ran into recent controversy off the court over a late-night gambling junket, it was his father, his protector, who stepped forward and accepted the blame. In Charlotte, North Carolina, a community is shaken by the violent and mysterious death of an outwardly gentle man. It's mean, certainly a tragedy, and, and uh, I hope there's nothing more than that it was an unfortunate crime. There's nothing really deep like, you know, the gambling thing and all that. The family plans a small private funeral for relatives and close friends. Pat Etheridge, CNN, Mint Hill, North Carolina.